Well, an important mission on Lake Minnetonka today to try to fight back against invasive species. Scientists are trying a first of its kind method that targets the youngest zebra mussels in an effort to slow their spread. Carol Evans' Heidi Wigdahl shows us how it works. At Lake Minnetonka, there are some things you can't see from the surface. Zebra mussels, which disrupt the food chain, were first found here in 2010. But researchers from the Minnehaha Creek Watershed District and the Minnesota Aquatic Invasive Species Research Center are testing a new method to manage zebra mussel populations. So they're going to be using a plankton tow net to check for the villagers in the water, which is the zebra mussel larva. By targeting the youngest zebra mussels called villagers, researchers hope to decrease the overall population of this invasive species. So over a period of three weeks this summer, we are testing different ways of uh, uh, treating zebra mussel villagers in the lake with low doses of a copper product. The study, a first of its kind in the country, is now in its second year, looking at how different concentrations of this copper-based product impact the larvae. If we were imagine expanding this to the size of like a, a small bay, could we kill most or all of the larvae in that bay? at this low dose if we kept it in there for 10 days. The second round of trials is underway at Lake Minnetonka's West Upper Lake. We're right at the beginning of this, right? That the science is brand new, so we we don't know which pro approaches. We don't know how to apply this to a lake, you know? And so this is what we're trying to do with this. But it has the potential to help manage zebra mussel populations, especially in newly infested lakes. Uh, we're very hopeful that we can find effective control methods so that if not eradication, we can at least manage them at a level that doesn't impact the enjoyment of our lakes. Heidi Wigdahl, Carol 11 News.